<laughs> Good morning. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yes, I am wearing the outfit I was wearing yesterday. I'm, yeah, that's okay. Uh, we're shirtless right now. She's still in bed. She is not feeling all that well. That's okay. Um, we're just going to go and get some food and bring it back up there just so she can have something to eat and hopefully feel better. It's the morning time. Well, late morning-ish. The sun's out and it's not raining and things. I got nothing today. No. Are they still there? real close. Oh, it's gone now. Like, I've never seen that many. That was crazy. Yeah, I tried to run in and grab a camera, but too late. Oh. I finished the lesson, and currently Cheryl is watching the Sugarman documentary thing, and uh, so far, your reaction is one of... Uh, are you happy with it so far? It's very interesting, yes. Okay. Very good. We can keep watching. Oh. It's very interesting. Cool. We'll come back to you in an hour and a bit. <laughs> Hi. So, I just finished watching, uh, searching for, I was going to say Silverman, Sugarman, <laughs> Sugarman. Uh, that was one of the coolest documentaries I've ever seen. Um, mm -hmm. Chuck and I were talking about it, and like you, like you said, it's it's interesting because it's it's in the end it's very uplifting because karma, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> like he gets what he deserves, which is awesome. Like in a good way, he wasn't a bad person or anything like that, and he gets what he deserves. But like Chuck said, it's also slightly depressing because you feel bad for the guy because of how much he got screwed over by people. labels and people and stuff like that and so it's this really neat dynamic and he is just such a like he's just such a humble simple person and so it's really neat like it's just like you, f you feel bad for him because he was famous he's essentially around. living the artist's life he is he really is it's a very simple life all he wants is to play his music and he still continued to do it, like, just for himself, after getting screwed around, and, hey, well, your record label's not doing well here, so too bad, and finds out he's, like, famous in South Africa for years, he, like, since the 70s, he'd been famous there, and nobody knew it, uh, so, I don't know, it's a really cool, thank you for making me watch that. And the big question. Yeah. Is this another Cheryl approved thing? This? Yeah. A Cheryl approved. Alright, it's late. We've watched how many episodes of Hannibal? Uh, I think we were this one. Five. This is five. Five episodes of Hannibal in a row. So, it's late. Yep, yeah, we had fried bologna, it was delicious. <laughs> and all this. Well, you had olives. I, had olives. I, I didn't have olives. No, I liked the olives. <laughs> it was great. We did nothing all day because I had today off. Yeah. We literally sat and watched Netflix 
all day. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you enjoy the breakfast thing? I did enjoy the breakfast thing. It was delicious. And I was feeling not well enough that I only ate about half of it. <laughs> but, and then I ate the other half for dinner. So. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. Alright. So with that, uh, we're just gonna go to bed. Well, watch more of this stuff and see if whenever we fall asleep. Pretty much. I'm guessing within twenty minutes for me. Possibly. Yeah. Good night. <laughs>